folks thanks for joining me on this one i'm glad that you're here instead of a verse of the day today i want to give you guys a list of worship songs that are some of my favorites and have been my, some of my favorites for many years worship is such an important part of our relationship with god so this list is right here screenshot do whatever you want to do download them to your phone it's an awful breezy afternoon but we're going to be sitting it out anyway making the best of it i'm very excited to be here and i'm glad that all of you are as well hope that y'all have been enjoying the last few recent videos putting out at least one a week sometimes two sometimes three you guys don't want to miss out on that be sure that you are a part of this and a part of all the new stuff that's coming as well so that said hit that subscribe button and join me and my soon-to-be wife as we document all of our fun and everything that we do in the outdoors there's been some pigs hitting this spot after dark so if they decide that they're going to show up in a timely manner and not midnight then we're going to make our quick swap between my quick stick stabilizer and my sniper hog lights uh, light stabilizer with the quick adapt and we're just going to make the quick swap and then we'll be ready for uh, some night hunting maybe they show up early maybe they don't show up at all maybe a little later who knows we're just going to have to wait and find out all that said, let's get to it. Should be a good one. I have been wanting to run an arrow through that doe all season long. That is a three-legged deer there, ladies and gentlemen. And the front leg is the one that's missing, the front right. I have had that deer in bow range many, many times. But I've always held out. All season long, I've been hang, holding out for something a little bit, uh, a little bit bigger, or I was waiting on a buck or whatever. But that doe, I mean, it's getting late, and that doe, and the yearling doe that was uh, there as well, they were the only two that I can see within a couple hundred yard uh, radius. 
except for now there's like three or four more deer that just popped into the field but they weren't there a second ago whenever i let an arrow fly but regardless um i've just been waiting for the right opportunity and it finally happened so thank you lord <laughs> that was awesome uh the hunt for tripod is over and that deer completely blows my mind whenever it's walking it looks awful i mean it looks horrible whenever it is running looks about like a normal deer except for it's a little bit slower um but as you guys could see there how it lost its leg i have no idea it just showed up one day randomly and there it was <laughs> and i've been watching it for several months uh, i don't remember when it showed up but it, it's been around basically all season and i've been really looking forward to doing what i just did she's kind of starting to look pretty thin uh, and that was one of the reasons why i wanted to take her out but also she's just an easy target for coyotes uh, she can't jump fences as well so n normally um, i would imagine she just steps through which is surprisingly enough it's a, what a lot of deer do they don't jump over it if it's like three or four strand and there's a gap big enough they'll just step through it or go under it's pretty incredible and she went down in plain sight so <laughs> she didn't even make it i don't know i think i can see her belly up behind me in the, the high line so i'm thinking about maybe 30 40 yards is all she made it maybe 45 at the most from the feeder out but <laughs> that was pretty cool so I'm gonna pack everything up. We're gonna blow these other does out of here and ditch this popsicle stand. That was cool. We're getting closer and closer towards the end of the season and I don't want it to come yet, but I can't control time. So we're gonna continue to hit it hard and see if we can't put a buck on the ground before the season ends. But man, that was, uh, that was awesome. Super excited for more meat for the freezer. It was much needed. Let's get all packed up here. Let's go check out our deer. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. And she ran through that hole right there in the brush. <laughs> Super thick. Let's check this arrow out. My tree stand is, I think that tree right there. Yeah, that's it. Tree stands right back up in there. She's right here. <laughs> She's a little dog sized deer, but uh, man, so crazy. She's got three legs. <laughs> there would be my entrance. And yeah, right where I, right where you want it. Guys, I gotta tell you, um, <laughs> this was an awesome hunt. I had an encounter with a buck earlier this afternoon and I was super frustrated because it just didn't come together for me. Now, I say an encounter. I wasn't even in the stand. I was headed to the stand. Bucks smelled me, spotted me. Whatever he did, he bolted. And that was the end of it. It's a buck that I've been chasing all season and just have yet to, to connect with yet. Um, I've been seeing him come to a feeder late in the evenings. I was headed to that spot. And then he decides he's going to show up like 15 to 30 minutes before the the feeder goes off but anyway i was expecting to uh hopefully try to hit a home run with uh putting that buck on the ground this afternoon and it simply just did not happen for me so i moved to another stand thinking yeah you know maybe he'll come over here maybe i'll see a different buck so on and so forth well i ended up with this deer right here and i am just super stoked <laughs> i was uh i saw her coming across the field and it just started shaking like a leaf so it's pretty incredible um, my stock archery silence arrow um, you guys know i've been shooting these for a couple of seasons now and i am in love i've never had one complaint about them at all whatsoever a lot of you are shooting them i know some of you that have taken lots of different animals uh, with these arrows and they are just incredible they're outstanding and i'm glad to be heading into the new year with this company um, and big exciting new exciting things are, are going to keep rolling in we're going to keep doing some pretty awesome stuff together uh, quick stick archery uh, you guys know this is uh, one of the newest ones of, of the uh, channel i want you guys to check out quick stick uh, their face i mean i'm sorry not their facebook instagram will be linked down in the description below i have never had more confidence in a bow than i do in this one this one uh, is just 
day in and day out, I can pick it up and I can shoot at anything at any distance and have full confidence in it. It's pretty incredible. One quick thing I do want to show you guys before I end this video out is many of you know that this is a Sniper Hog Lights bow light. I've had this one for many, many years. Um, and a lot of you know that with the quick stick stabilizers, all you gotta do is give it a little pull, just like that. It's completely magnetic, no vibration, no noise. And you can put it in and take it out completely silently and do it even within bow range of an animal. This stabilizer here is on the market and a lot of you can get them. Uh, local bow stores in the great state of Texas carry these stabilizers. So go support small business, go support my buddy Quentin Williams with Quick Stick Archery, but there's a product that has not made the scene yet. And you may be wondering why I'm holding this stabilizer, I mean, um, well, the stabilizer light. And it's because there's a quick adapter right here. And all you do is you screw it onto the threaded end of any stabilizer. Normally, I would screw my stabilizer into the front of my bow, but now, I've got a quick adapt, which turns my light stabilizer into a quick change just like that. Pretty neat. Now, I snapped it in quickly, so there was some noise there, but when I go from daytime hunting to nighttime hunting, it's a quick change. And you can do this silently in your bow stand. I've done it. So anytime I'm ready to change over to the nighttime pig operation, I got some hogs that are coming to a feeder, I can silently, just like that, snap it on, snap it in, whatever, and I'm ready to go. But these quick stick products are simply um, amazing, and I've got, and there's more that are, are gonna be hitting the market here very soon, and I can't wait for you guys to see those. Thank you to everybody that helps make this possible. Um, all the products out there um, but more specifically and just as importantly to all you viewers who watch day in and day out I really appreciate it and as we head in to uh, as we get ready to head into the new year and we begin to uh, start fresh uh, come January we're going to I will say it now we're gonna have the best year ever that I've ever had on YouTube getting married um, in 2023 and lots of other things are coming through Megan's gonna be a huge uh, help and support and all this and I'm very excited for all the new stuff that's gonna come you guys uh, if you want to check out any of these products all the links will be down in the description below y'all are awesome thank you so much for watching hope that that you guys will continue on uh, as the year goes by and as we head into the new year and I know whenever y'all are seeing this video it's already after the new year i'm kind of behind on editing however we're here nonetheless playing catch up i got lots of videos that are coming i'm working on right now as a matter of fact so be sure that you're subscribed to the channel if you haven't done so already share these videos if you enjoy them and let me know down in the comments below how many of you have seen a three-legged deer <laughs> and i can't end this video without a close-up a close-up we will get i mean it's completely healed it's just a nub just gone <laughs> it's pretty wild pretty wild these animals are resilient and incredibly tough i don't know that i'll ever be able to harvest another one for the rest of my life so i figured i'd make the best of this one super incredible and it's just a testament to how tough these animals can be they're so resilient and hunting them will never get old <laughs> i don't care how old i get hunting them and specifically bow hunting them will never get old such an incredible animal god bless the white-tailed deer and god bless each and every one of you i'll see you in just a few days